Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this example. So this double integration we have, we have and we have to solve it with the suitable change of variables. Okay, so let me write a given double integration first. What we have i is equal to double integration over s x minus 2i upon x plus 2i raised to 3 dA means dx dy, right? S is bounded by, S is bounded by x minus 2i is equal to 1, x minus 2i is equal to 2, x plus 2i is equal to 1 and x plus 2i is equal to 3. So, power of x and y is 1, that means all these are straight lines, okay. So, the region is bounded by these four straight lines and we have to solve this double integration with suitable change of variables. That means we have to put something, we have to put some equation is equal to u, something is equal to v, that means we have to convert the entire problems into new variables, u and v and then we have to solve. We have to make it more simple, okay, by using that substitution. So what we have to put, see all these equations suggest us something, get it? So x minus 2i, x minus 2i, x minus 2i. The same term is repeating three times. So it's always better to put that term is equal to u. So putting x minus 2i is equal to u. Similarly, you can easily see x plus 2i, x plus 2i, x plus 2i. The same term is repeating three times. That means we need to put it, getting? So let me uh, put here x plus 2i is equal to v. So this is my substitution. With the help of this substitution, I will make this problem more simple and we will solve, okay? x minus 2i is equal to u and x plus 2i is equal to v. So in case of double integration, so when we put anything, when we change the variables, it's so much necessary to find the value of Jacobian. So now the question is what is Jacobian? Jacobian is, it is a determinant, okay? So deba x by deba u, deba x by deba v, deba y by deba u and deba y by deba v. So this is definition of Jacobian. We have to find the values of these four derivatives. We will put those values here. We will find the value of determinant and that is nothing but the our Jacobian, okay? But the problem is that we have to find derivative of x with respect to u. But we haven't expressed yet x in terms of u and v, getting? So we supposed to express u and x and y in terms of u and v. We can solve these equations and we can easily express. But see, I have one shortcut method. That shortcut method is instead of finding z, I will find z dash. Okay, having a similar formula, z dash is equal to Deba u by deba x, deba u by deba y, deba u by deba, uh, sorry, deba v by deba x, and deba v by deba y. So u and v are already expressed in terms of x and y, so we can easily find z dash. But see, with the help of this z dash, we have to find z. They have a very beautiful relation. z is equal to 1 upon z dash. That means what will we do? We will find the value of z dash. We will take its reciprocal and we will get z. Okay, so in this way, I'm going to find. So let us start. Let us start. Okay, so I'm going to find a value of z dash. Okay, let me remove this one. Okay, it's it's gone. Let us do it here. So z dash is equal to, what did I tell you? Deba u by deba x, deba u by deba y, deba v by deba x and deba v by deba y. So let us find their values, okay? So uh, let me do it in rough, okay, directly. If it is possible for you, you can directly find the derivative, but I'm doing it here, deba u by deba x. Derivative of u with respect to x. So what is our u? x minus 2y, right? x minus 2y. Minus sign is there, you can take separate, separate derivatives, derivative of x minus derivative of 2y. Derivative of x is 1. Here we are finding derivative with respect to x and 2y is there. It is constant since our derivative with respect to x. And derivative of constant is always 0, so it is 1. 
So deba u by deba x is 1. Let me write here. It is 1. Similarly, I will find derivative of u with respect to y. Derivative of u with respect to y. It's derivative with respect to y. So derivative of x minus 2y. Minus sign is there. We can take separate separate derivatives. So x minus derivative of 2y. We are finding derivative with respect to x. So x is constant with respect to y. So x is constant. Its derivative will be 0. 2 will come outside since it is constant and derivative of y with respect to y is 1. So it's minus 2. Okay. So let me write here. So it's minus 2. Now derivative of v with respect to x in the same way we can find. So let me write directly in the same way. Okay. Derivative of v with respect to x. So it's derivative 1. It's 0. So it will be 1. Derivative of v with respect to y with respect to y. Derivative of x is 0 since it's constant. And derivative of 2y will be 2. So this is equal to, uh, let me remove this rough work. Okay, it is not required now. So yes, let us go further. So this is equal to, let us solve the determinant. So I'm sure you are familiar with this method. 1 into 2, 2 minus, minus 2 into 1, minus 2, minus minus plus, so 2 plus 2, 4. So our z dash is z, uh, 4. But see, our final target is to find Jacobian, not Z dash. J is equal to 1 upon Z dash. So 1 by 4, since value of Z dash is 4. So finally, we got our J. Okay. Uh, so let us talk about the region. So here, then, in UV plane, I'm mentioning UV plane. Since I'm using new variables, I have introduced new variables u and v. So that means the entire region will be converted in, in a uv plane. In uv plane, region is bounded by, region is bounded by, region is bounded by, see these equations we have, s is bounded by these equations we have x minus 2y, but x minus 2y is u. So I'm putting here u, so u is equal to 1 right x minus 2y is again which is u so u is equal to 2 next x plus 2y which is our v so i can write v is equal to 1 and x plus 2y which is v so v is equal to 3 so in uv plane region is bounded by these four very simple lines okay so let me show in the diagram i'm drawing a very uh, small diagram here so e, this is uv plane, this is my u axis and this is my v axis. Let us take some scaling here. Okay, so u is equal to 1, line parallel to v axis, passes through u is equal to 1. u is equal to 2, line parallel to v axis, passes through u is equal to 2. This is u is equal to 2, u is equal to 1. v is equal to 1, line parallel to u axis. Uh, passes through u, v is equal to 1. This is v is equal to 1. And v is equal to 3 will be here. So this is our region of integration. Getting? Okay. So let us talk about limits. You can, vertical, you can draw vertical strip or horizontal strip. Doesn't matter. So I, I have drawn here vertical strip. So I will write limits of u first. Then limits of v. u varies from... Uh, this is uh, c. Uh, so I should write v first since strip is parallel to v axis and u here. See bounded below by v is equal to 1, bounded above by v is equal to, this is v is equal to 3. u varies from 1 to 2, you can easily see 1 to 2. So finally I got the limits of u and v. Okay, so let us convert the entire integral in terms of u and v now. Okay, just make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. Okay, so let us... Uh, Right, the integral now, i is equal to double integration, right? What we have x minus 2i, x minus 2i is our u, x plus 2i is our v, there is a bracket cube, you can easily see. dm is basically here dx dy, since problem was in x and y. But now we are converting a problem in u and v, so I suppose to write mod j here, right? And we can write du dv. See, integration with respect to v first. Now, since our strip is dv du, since I have drawn a strip parallel to v axis. 
लिमिट्स ऑफ वी वन टू थ्री लिमिट्स ऑफ यू वन टू टू दिस इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन वन टू टू वन टू थ्री यू क्यूब वी क्यूब जे जे इज वन बाय फोर वी आर टेकिंग इट्स मॉड बट देर इज नो माइनस साइन सो वी कैन राइट एज इट इज वन बाय फोर डी वी डी यू वन बाय फोर इज कॉन्स्टेंट विल कम आउट साइड वन टू टू आई एम इंटीग्रेटिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वी फर्स्ट सो दैट यू क्यूब इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड विल गो आउट साइड वन टू थ्री वन बाय वी क्यूब सी दैट वी क्यूब इज इन डिनोमिनेटर ओके सो आई एम शिफ्टिंग टू द न्यूमरेटर सो साइन ऑफ पावर विल चेंज ओके एंड वी विल हैव लाइक दिस लेट मी रिमूव दिस पार्ट सो वी विल हैव सम मोर स्पेस टू राइट सो लेट इज इंटीग्रेट नाउ we are familiar with a formula integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so same formula i will apply for this one integration of v raised to minus 3 so i suppose to add 1 in power of v right so minus 3 plus 1 and same number we should write in denominator so v raised to minus 2 upon minus 2 so that is a value of integration let me write here directly So this is equal to one by four, one to two, u cube. Its integration is v raised to minus two upon minus two with limits one to three, du now. Okay, let me remove this one. Uh, is equal to minus two is constant. We can take it outside. It is in denominator. We can take product with this force. So we'll have minus one by it. Integration one to two. U cube is there, okay, and v raised to minus two is still there inside the bracket. Power is negative, so we can shift to the denominator, and we will have one by v square with limits one to three du minus one by it one to two u cube. I am putting upper limit three, so one by three cube, which is three square, which is nine one, so one by one square, which is one obviously du. So it's a constant. We can take it outside. Okay. So minus one by it. Uh, you can cross multiply. So we will have after cross multiplying uh, one minus nine by nine. Okay. It's a constant. So I have taken outside. Integration one to two u cube du. So it's minus eight. Eight it will get cancelled. Let me show here minus one by it, and this is minus eight by nine. Integration of u cube is u raised to four by four with limits one to two. Minus minus plus eight eight will get cancelled and we will have simply one by nine. I am putting upper limit two raised to four. It is sixteen uh, by four. I am putting one so one by four. One raised to four is one. So this is equal to one by nine. See both of them having same denominator four. You can subtract numerator sixteen minus one fifteen by four. Both are divisible by three. Getting three three is a nine and three. Five is a fifteen. So the answer is five by three into four twelve. This is the required answer. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.